There's just no way to end that song mid <laughs> mid song. But hello everyone. What do you mean they're no longer Oh my god. Well, that sucks. They kept telling me these weren't installed and apparently they did install. Oh, this could cause problems. Anyways, uh, welcome everybody to the stream. Um, <laughs> gonna be 
only slightly distracted as I am plotting things for my D&D session tomorrow. Gonna be lots of fun. And by lots of fun, I mean... Generally, they won't really enjoy it that much. Oh, I'm sure they'll have fun. Mostly. Maybe. Oh, you guys really shouldn't be getting that mixed up. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kinds grow this time. You know, for all these guards, no. I'm a hired assassin going to kill their Jarl and end this whole attack. This whole war. And yet they just sit there. Don't even question me. Granted, I'm not, but still, my point stands. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. They're I know, spies? right? Whoa. You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Until next time. Alright. I am on one specific mission here. If I can figure out where it is in this confusing city. Aha! I got it right on the first try. That Unusual. Is what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right! I knew it! He's trying to have somebody killed! All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. If Aventus Aretino walks the dark path, his actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. My father would run them off. Gee, thanks, kid.
Haha. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Die, Grillon! Die! Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy. Fendal, get up here, that's creepy. Blood and fear. So very tired. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet mother, sweet mother. Fendal is not Moon Moon. And don't even start that because, well, <laughs> last time you did, the person became Moon Moon. Die! You know, this kid could be Sweet killed mother, so easily. Mother, I'm just saying, because be he's completely unaware of me in his what house, looting me. everything. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Yes, it may have made that stream Grillo, special, but that Grillo. doesn't mean I want it to happen every time. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Kid, where did you get a human die, heart? God, die! Please, how long must I do this? I keep... Finally! My prayers have been answered! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the... Things and then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Remain silent. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grella the kind. Uh oh. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall. I really miss my friends there. Yeah, the animations could use some work. Though something just occurred to me. This kid was supposedly here with just his mother. But there's only one bed. I, uh, I'm gonna go away from that uh, line of thought. <laughs> Funny. The mining animations may be horrible, but they're not quite that bad. Mostly. Hey, Quigs! Somehow I just noticed that you were here. 
Sorry. Hey, you. Get over here. I want to talk to you. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. Oh, I appreciate you. I'm through with you. Get out of my way. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how Stay out of the Blackbriar's business and you'll live longer. Next time, keep your plans quieter and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Huh? What do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in White Run to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Yes, Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day, but I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. The bee and the barb. Oh my. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Looking for work? I need someone need to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. The return of the dragons is yeah. not mere Yeah, what's your problem? This is one of the signs. I knew that Lady stupid Mara kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his deviation. debt. Look, this is Without really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. I don't care. A deal's a deal. These people must be made aware of the chaos. Are you kidding me? I've got the entire thieves guild at my back. What have you got? My weapons? Very well, Talon. If I chose to If I choose to kill you, you can't exactly do much and your whole thieves guild behind you isn't going to help you much. At least not here and now. Don't know why you'd help a stranger like that. But a septum's a septum. Don't care where it comes from. You can tell Shadra his debt's been paid. I, hope you I can take a hint, again. lad. You want to make some coin? Come find me. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. Sure. I'll be at the market come morning. Okay, lad. Ready to make some coin. Now where the hell did that shatter guy go? 
Bè I have work to do Hello, orphanage. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes growlers. growlers. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grilla. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. She That's is good. such a off, bitch. <laughs> I'm really afraid of Brellin. When Aventus escaped, she was so mad. I got double the beatings that day. You really shouldn't Constance. be here. I'm sorry, but the children aren't up for adoption right now. You should go. Talk of his parents. They're coming if for there's me. nothing else, this is I only temporary. Must ask you to leave. The boy must accept his fate. Okay, okay, I'll deal with it. What do you want? You have no business being in here. What are you staring at, you worthless piece of gutter trash? I simply must start locking the doors again. You don't scare me. Don't even think... Well, she's dead. I don't think I even needed to sneak to kill her. Oh, they noticed! Didn't you hear them cheering? All those kids in there, like, woohoo! Rare trinkets, the finest oddities from Morrowind. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craft. Damn God, won't take the time. Prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Where is this guy? He said he'd be here at 8 a.m. Guess what? It's 8:31. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Looking to protect yourself or do <clears throat> some damage? Neither. I'm actually looking for you to buy all my crap. Looking to protect yourself or deal some I hate damage. it when it does that. I think it's a glitch in the game now. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Actually, what I want to buy it. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yeah, it costs a little bit more to get it back, but oh well. If you need any more smithing work, come see me. It's for again. decoration's sake. All meat guaranteed, clean and free from rock joint. The fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Jewelry here. Seriously, where is this guy?
Which guy has a quest? Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. I have them all. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? I do. Sadly, I'm one of the few traditional Saxlil jewelers that remains in Tamriel. It's becoming a lost art. Only trouble is gathering materials has become hazardous. The roads to the mines and to the other cities are thick with bandits, and worse. Would you be interested in gathering some materials for me? I'd certainly be happy to compensate you. Thank you, Marsh friend. I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Two flawless sapphires, a mammoth tusk, and a chunk of gold ore. Well, I got the mammoth tusk somewhere. Forgive me. It's a term I haven't used in some time. While most in Tamriel would call us Argonian, we prefer the term Saxlil. Ma Desi was actually my original Saxlil name. Unlike others, I decided to embrace tradition and keep it that way. Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. A few months ago, it was Troll Fatsad, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. Everything I've got on display, really. What does he have for sale? A single lockpick. Okay. I am so broke. Good journey, Marsh friend. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. You're a stranger here too, huh? Where the hell is Brynjolf? Rare trinket. My Fricker, fricker, girl. You know what? I got something else to do here. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves' Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They just thought. Well, I will have to go take a look for that. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Cool! It's okay, I'm supposed to be here. Really? Okay! <laughs> Uh, there is supposed to be... Well, I heard him cough. Oh, been tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. There's a mod. Oh. Just because I'm in a cage doesn't mean you have to stay in yours, Mr. Dragonfly. Ah, there he is. Inigo. Why does he have ore in there? Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard.
So this guy is a modded follower who, as we already heard, apparently has a lot of freaking... Okay, nobody's mad at me. Today I had to kill Felix with his own damned sword. Fool attacked me. He was planning to murder me for the last of the skooma. He did not ask, did not inquire. He just burst into my room with a shriek and started slicing. Poor wretch had been clean for days. He got me in the leg before I could finish him. A little extra skooma will take the edge off the pain tonight. Selling the rest tomorrow. I am done with the stuff. I am missing Felix today. Shame I had to kill him. Could not find a buyer for the stuff, but I did meet a fancy man called Dupont at the docks earlier. He says he has a job for me and that it is well paid. I will be working with another mercenary. I hope whoever it is respects my property. I am to meet Dupont and my new partner next week in Skyrim. I always knew Destiny would bring me back there. Sometime, I sometimes hear Felix talking to me, even though I know he is dead. He blames me for killing him. I blame him for being a bloody skooma addict. He is back again, whispering from the shadows. You did not have to murder me, Inigo. Shut up. You should have listened to me, Inigo. Shut up, Felix. Stop haunting me. I was clean for days, Inigo. It is you who is the addict. Quiet. Please be quiet. I was not going to kill you, Inigo. I was going to help you. No, you lie. You were a skooma head. You stole from me more than once to feed your habit. A habit we share, Inigo. Uh, the skooma is all gone. It was the only thing keeping Felix quiet. I need to get more before the big job. Am I an addict? Felix, leave me be. I am sorry. Lucky, lucky me. I found a dealer this morning before I met my new companion. It is not good stuff, and I only had enough gold to buy a little, but it will have to do. My partner seems likely enough. We can certainly get the job done, that is for sure. We got into a bit of a scuffle with some thugs, and... Well, I am glad I was not one of them. I think we'll make a good team. The air is so fresh here. This land is very beautiful. My new friend is off catching dinner. Felix has been quiet all day. We met with Dupont and his sister today. Yes, he has a sister. A very pretty lady indeed. It turns out that Dupont has two brothers as well. We are to track and kill them both. Okay. Uh, Dupont is the youngest, but feels he is more deserving of their father's inheritance. He says all they do is drink and fight. And dirty the family name. We are going to be paid very well for this. My companion wants to buy a house with the takings. All I can think about is Skuma. Dupont says that if only one of us makes it back, the survival will get the full the survivor will get the full reward. What a thing to say. Now we will be watching our backs when we should be protecting each other. We set off at dawn heading north. We should get to the keep, first keep in a few days. My partner and I shared many stories, and even sang a little as we traveled. I think we are becoming friends. I used the last of the skooma today. Oh, what I would do to never have this worry and want again. Felix is back, but quieter than before. Maybe I can kick the habit this time. I have good company and gold on the way. We were attacked by a pack of ugly wolves this afternoon. My friend took care of most of them, but I got to. I think we trust each other. What a powerful ally I have made. My hands have begun to shake a little, but I will suffer it. Hush now, Felix. Hush. Brother One is no more. He was an evil piece of work, but stupid as a rock. He did not seem to notice half his men were dead until I put my dagger to his throat. We found a poor serving girl tied up in his bedchamber. Well then. Uh, we released her and the other servants before we burned the place down. 
As long as word doesn't reach the next brother before we do, all will be well. I am very sick. My new friend knows something is up. On the upside, Felix has been quiet all day. I have decided to go back on the skooma as soon as possible. It is only a problem when I don't have it. With my share of the reward, I will not have to worry about wanting for ten years, maybe more. My companion has grown less talkative. I am ill, but on my feet. Mood swings, sweats. I fear my friend is growing wary of me. I may wake up dead tomorrow. It may be a relief. Felix is gone, I think. I was not killed in the night. My companion is packing up our camp. I am too weak. We are about to take on brother number two, but hardly a word passes between us. If only one of us returns, the reward is double. This is what my friend is thinking. I could not defend myself in this state. I must make the first move. I must put some distance between us and use my bow from cover. I am a wretch and a fool, but I will not die today. If I do this right, I will not have to worry about wanting for 20 years, maybe more. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> I can take Mr. Dragonfly. There's something on this plate. Come to kill me at the last, have you? Thank the gods. I can bear the guilt no longer. I know I must die. Beware, though. My newfound honor demands I defend myself. I am in no mood for jokes. Strike me down. Take your revenge. You don't remember? Uh, that is my fault also. I am your so-called friend, Inigo. I was the one who killed you. I tried anyway. I am guilty. Kill me. Okay. Of course you'd be looking at that. After I shot you, I finally realized my mistake and tried to turn myself in. Your body was gone. The guards did not believe me. They said I was wasting their time. I had to pay them to put me in this cell. It is where I belong. I needed to repent. I need to repent. Um. I heard tales of a remarkable adventurer, both brave and resourceful, matching your description. I knew it was you. It had to be. I knew you would be coming for me, so I waited. Are you going to kill me, or not? I see that I must relive it again. Your memory is not what it was. We met on a job. The killing kind. We were hired by a lord called Dupin to kill his brothers. With them gone, Dupin would inherit a great fortune and promised us much gold in return. Do you remember none of this? Your memory fails you. I will try to refresh it. Before we left, Dupin told me that if only one of us returned from our mission, that one would get the other's reward also. I was hooked on skooma at the time. And I had a bit of a debt problem. So... Uh, I tried. That is what matters. It was not an easy choice. We only knew each other for a short time, but I had grown to like and respect you. We got on well and fought bravely side by side. I threw all that away for gold and skooma. Yeah, there, except there's nothing up there. So what does it matter? <laughs> I 
I must say, I'm kind of, I'm rather impressed with the uh, quality of the voice acting here. No, Dupin was murdered by his sister before I made it back to his keep. Our deal died with him. Money is an evil like no other, my friend. It is only just that I die at your hand. No, I am done with this stuff. I want to die with my senses intact. Kill me now. I am ready. You are the person I remember. I would recognize your smell anywhere. My life is yours to take. Smell? Are you calling me s You little bastard. Fine. I fight with you. Or die defending you. Yes, I accept. I feel lighter in my heart now you have given me this opportunity. You will not regret this. Doesn't mean I'm stinky. Do not joke about such things, my friend. The sadness I feel for what I have done is brutal enough. For now. He was locked into the, in this cage and left with nothing except his sword, apparently. Inigo the Brave. A tale suitable for any gender and race at any time. I, I will have to read that later. I don't know what kind of sword that is. It's very fancy, though. You give me best equipment, yes? And he goes, holy fuck! Okay. It's an ebony sword. He, he, he is definitely very well equipped. I, I'm thinking I'm going to take this stuff away and give him lesser stuff so that way he's not freaking he's overpowered right now to put it simply and i'd prefer not to have something like this playing through the game i'd rather yeah I think those disappeared. Okay, so uh, books, a load on my mind. Okay. Oh. Looks like they give us some lesser stuff to give him. <laughs> okay. You have something to say? Okay, let us see what we have. At least I am assuming that because that's a lot of iron arrows to just be sitting in a chest.
Yeah, so far definitely a really good mod. Definitely taking away that stuff though. What's next? I'm sorry, but that is just way too much for him. Godlack White Mane has been laid to rest, I know. May his soul live forever in the halls of Sovengal. Crazy Khajiit. Important! The Crazy Khajiit is sell one is not to be disturbed. He paid us good money for that cage, so don't go bothering him. If he's still here in a month, I think we should enforce a little rent increase. I doubt we'll get the chance, though. You've all seen the way he looks. Won't be surprised if he tries to end his life soon. If you see him in a particularly suicidal mood, get in there and stop him. He's been using the key we gave him, so if you need in there in a hurry, use the spare in the broken strong box above the fireplace. A dead man can't pay rent. Seriously? Really? That, that, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> you. You're the harbinger of the companions. It is my honor to stand before you. As you walk away. <laughs> Sorry, I was replying to messages. Okay. Actually, first things first. I'm going to go back to my house. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Good. And he apparently doesn't count against my follower limit. So right now I've got two followers. Which I think I'm going to keep it like that. Just because I can. Mammoth does two flawless sapphires. Got Amethyst and Garnet. No Sapphires. Damn it. But I got the Mammoth Tusk. And the Gold Ore. True. That end, I really don't like Fendal. So. Still here. I need to trade I'll some head back home if you need me. What? No! Divine smile on you, friend. Lead the way. Still here. What do you want me to carry?
I'll head back home if you need me. There. I dropped a follower. At least for now. Okay. I suppose I could give him this stuff once I replace it. Oh, wait, I don't have anything more to put in there. I do! There. Now my mannequin's fully equipped. You need more armor. Really? You're gonna just yawn at me? Bastard. Oh yes, I need to store his. I'll put it in a safe bin here. Or not. The safes are on the second floor. What are you doing in my bed? Weapons. I'll store that too. Mr. Dragonfly says he would rather travel with me. It is not personal. He and I go way back. Seriously? Pooling our resources. He's yelling at me because I've got his stupid dragonfly. Where is it? Mr. Dragonfly. There, have him. That is funny. Okay, let us get back to it. Wait. Really? They put Mr. Dragonfly on the display a shield. What would I display? I'm keeping that shield. I'm going to actually use it. The shield of Ysgrimoire.
Okay, first things first. I think I need to go return... You might be thinking of that uh, Shield of Ease Grimoire. Let me give you some room. Is she, you know? Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. And thank you. Thank you again. When I grow up, I'm going to be an assassin. That way I can help lots of children, just like you. Totally what an assassin does, kid. Totally. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give them time to, you know, clean up the mess. Yeah, it, it is a very unique uh, fur color. I'm Argonian myself. Oh, I forgot what I was going to do. Well, let's go to... Wait, I don't have much money, but... You know, you're right. That is a way that it could be taken. It's not the way he's meaning it, but you're right. I don't mind. Oh, you use that mod? It's certainly an interesting mod, to say the least. It's in a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Trust me, those poor children are not heartbroken. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Bjorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Don't forget to play. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Oh, no. I don't want to pick the lock. Sheesh. Dude, you need more equipment. Well met, Traveler. Have you met my father? Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Until next time. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to them for work. Even though I thought I was the leader. I don't know why I'm going and asking them. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to do so. I 
be dead if not for Vignar. It took me. I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. Vilkas said you're the new Codlac. I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. We've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Get to it then. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. My I always favorite thought the new Harbinger buddy. would be talking. Let's get What's some meat. So, does this mean I can finally loot meat, stuff here? Man? No, that's still stealing. Yay, everything in this room is mine. Ooh, what is this? I think that's a dwarven sword. Exactly. Excellent work. Well, thank you. Eh, great sword. I'll leave it. Actually, that's valuable. I'll sell it. <laughs> okay, surely there's a key around here somewhere that unlocks all these things for me. All the fine clothes, which sell for a decent amount. Normally I wouldn't bother with this stuff, but I kind of am a little broke. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, but I can sell it anyways. By the way, I uh, redid the death counter. That little reminder thing that pops up. It should be showing the death counter on it at some points. I was wondering what you guys thought about that instead of just having text sitting there. Friends like you are hard to find, and very valuable to me. Oh, Mur.
Well, I don't have any crashes yet. But uh, I'm open to other ideas. Which, come to think of it, I am very surprised I don't have any crashes yet. <laughs> All right, I'm already doing much better on money. Actually, how much would those sell for? Ooh, I'll take those. Yes, I am slightly desperate. You dirty thief! Vilka said you're the new Codlan. I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. I got caught stealing the thing. What guidance could you offer me? Yes? Now, if you'll excuse me. And what I Got the feeling that that's going to turn out bad, so I'm going to reload. Wait, where are all my saves? So you're the one in charge now. Fine, fine. And yes, you're right.
doing better after stealing from them. But you know what? It's okay. Skillfully handled. I like this guy. He praises me. I'll get more money from other places. Oh, all right. I won't steal from them this time. I only take what I can lawfully have. Which is basically all these decorations that Codlack had. <laughs> it's okay, actually, all the stuff that I'm allowed to take, uh, I can kind of easily make a fortune off of it. You know, all this stuff that's not considered stealing to take? Like these swords and battle axes and other valuables. Vilkas said you're the new Codlack. I don't know what that means, but you seem honorable, so that's good. All right. Let's... Some people don't think I'm smart. Excuse me, my friend. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Tender rack of ribs. 
You know, I love how much faith they put into these random people. In reality? Oh! You want me to deliver this note? Well, thanks for the money. Uh, for sale, my friend. I'll just dispose Everything. of this note. A sister? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. Do come back. True. True. I suppose I should read that letter since, well, that's kind of the whole point of this particular... Ah, uh, where is the mysterious note? We know! Okay. Good for ya. The hell are you doing here, dude? And he's apparently carrying a log in between his legs. And... What the hell is going on here? Okay, this... this did Nico get out of the way? This is worthy of a screenshot to if I can Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Okay. Fang, I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, I really don't have... I need to go raid one of those dwarven places. Auxiliary armors? It says unarmored, and yet I'm pretty sure that's armor on there.
need leather for this too. So, somebody mind doing me a favor? I need somebody to figure out if I need to do anything else to get the Dark Brotherhood to actually approach me or whatever. Sleep? Really? That's it? Okay. I did not know that, so I guess I will go sleep. I will finish making the stuff for Inigo here and then sleep it is. Multi-talented. Why, friend, thank you. Skyrim is a big and often confusing place. We are bound to lose each other from time to time. Never fear. That map you have is special. Yes, there is more to it than you may realize. My brother once found one just like it on the remains of some poor old adventurer in Citadel. It does not only mark locations, it can also show the position of items and people too. Watch this. Where are you, Inigo? There! See? I have placed myself on your map. If we find ourselves separated, all you need to do is look me up. Pretty fantastic, eh? I don't trust it. Smells like witchcraft to me. No problem. I am always happy to help. I see you found Inigo the Brave. It's just a little thing I've been working on. It is probably rubbish. 
Hand it over, and if we're relaxing somewhere safe, I'll read it to you if you want. Oh, cool. Look at all those lockpicks. I am jealous. It's a plate. Books. All set. I am going to hurt you so bad. Yes, my friend. What are we trading? Okay, then. I just grabbed a soul gem. There's one of them. I was wondering, can you whistle? Well, it could be a good way for us to quickly communicate. Look, I found this book. It made interesting reading. Maybe you should give it a look over. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? He's just full of information, isn't okay. he? Let us see what we have. Ah. All set. Sleep. Sleep well. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. <laughs> oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. 
A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice, make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. See, I knew we could resolve this civilly. A debt owed must be repaid. You understand that. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Well, I got all my equipment still. off of me I, I can hear you talking out there please let me go I've done nothing to you coward stealing a woman from her home for shame is this about that raid last week I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men but he wouldn't listen it wasn't my fault I swear my name is full time I'm a soldier well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. Killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Oh, we'll see, buddy. Uh, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. By the stars, when I get out of here, you're dead. Do you hear me? Dead! Can I just kill her for the sake of her being a bitch? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. Excuse me. What kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Mer? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not hunt you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win.
The anticipation is killing me. Can you figure out who has the contract? Which one will you choose? Well, I'm pretty sure this guy's okay. This lady I want to kill just because she's a bitch. This guy obviously has a lot of enemies. At the same time, she's got six children. Supposedly, anyways. Is there a wrong answer here? I will give you a shocking death. Maybe I can kill all of them. The conniving Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the Black Door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. Seriously, what Remember, happened to all of my saves? The sanctuary is in the southern pine forest. Just beneath the road and... Where'd you come from? I'm putting right here. Oh. She's essential. Oh, fine! That's why I saved. Actually, I saved because I was planning to kill the other Remember, bitch. The sanctuary is in the southern oh, hi, Anigo. Just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. Cool, no bounty. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest. Just Can I search them? Do they have any? The road and away from prying eyes. There. I don't care. I wanted to kill the bitch. I killed the bitch. had better be grateful. Wow. I am impressed again. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm a little tired. No, right now my mind is a dried up riverbed.
Fang? Keep it PG for crying out freaking loud. God. Uh-huh. Totally what you were getting at. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be I've off. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. I can't wait Your here hands forever. Only. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Rifton. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. But if you're yes, supposed to up. deliver stuff to everybody, how is it meant for my hands only? Yeah. Oh, hi, kitty. My kitty says hi, guys. Did you see a dog out here? Blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Oh! Apparently, I'm on the other side of town. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Coconuts be. No, that's the sound of horses galloping.
Ooh, I can start looting right away. I don't know what these are. Though I'm pretty sure those skulls moved. Don't mind me, I just got here, but I'm going to loot everything before I talk to you. That's what you get for inviting a an adventurer into your home, you know? Oh, hello. Where's the Nico? Ah. Uh. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets. But we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Try not to, but I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. 
Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. So she's basically telling me to go join Thieves' sure Guild. Introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. You are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arndjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> well! So I'm guessing he's a werewolf. She is well, creepy well, as fuck. Raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all there about you. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Ah, I love that one. Kill marked for death. So what? I shouted somebody and they're just bleh. You die! Oh, he's dead now. Oops. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Oh! So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I thought something was off with her eyes. Oh, sure you do.
Apparently they have a pet spider. Bateson? Oh, it was quite obvious that she did so. Very obvious. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald, to play some part in the being's inevitable end. Kinda scary. Okay, I think I'm done with the Dark Brotherhood for now. Brother. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Hello again, Inigo. Let's see. What other quest do I have that I can go do real quick? Because unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of time left. I know. I'll go do that. What? I have to run D&D &D tonight. And I'm kind of not prepared yet. Watch the skies, traveler. Come on in. I don't think you were followed. Warm Come on, I have a plan. Beds. Yeah, because she doesn't look out of place in that armor and stuff here. clean their mugs here. <laughs> I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Oh no. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wendt, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. 
You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellenwyn's office and search her files. Malborn should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. I am in your way. I am sorry. That was pretty talented. <laughs> we got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much of I'm just a cook, lad. I really don't like it where when they're talking to you and you leave that area, they follow you. <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, I already stole her hideout. I kind of cleaned her out pretty well. Okay. I don't know if I want to go meet that guy yet. I need another quest. I will go do this one. Thinking of settling in. There's a house for sale. Freeze home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. No, not particularly interested. Uh, I'm gonna be finishing up here in a few minutes anyways. But thank you for coming. Okay, how did I miss this? Hello, my Argonian friend. In the market for some hunting supplies. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Come on. Get it. Here we go. Okay. It's nothing. Get it.
Alright guys, I'm going to go turn this in and then I'll be done for today. I've got a D&D &D game to run tonight and then tomorrow I'll be... That means something. I'll be streaming our D&D &D session. Yokus said you're the new Codlac. I don't kind of fun to push people around sometimes, isn't it? Good work, brother. Mm-hmm. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. Well, apparently I can't get anything else from him, so I will just save and exit. I'm really concerned that my I like. saves all disappeared, but... Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you all for joining. Uh, like I said, I'll be streaming Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow. And I hope you guys had fun. Join me then.